Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2018 American survival drama film titled Adrift. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. The main character of the story is a girl whose name is Tammy Oldham or just Tammy, actually, she is from California. She loves sailing in the sea very much and she even wants to spend her whole life in the sea by sailing. She wished to spend her life sailing happily and pleasantly. Tammy joined sailing after completing her graduation. She comes to Tahiti by a yacht. Indeed Tahiti is a really beautiful island. She meets a person named Richard in Tahiti who has been living there for a long time, his intentions and feelings were similar to that of Tammy, he also has a personal yacht which he used for sailing. Understanding between them gradually grows and they start liking each other. Tammy gets very impressed when she knows that he had built many boats. She asks him everything, even how he spends his time in the sea. Tammy likes that place and she wants to explore it. Richard explains to Tammy that the things she is seeing aren't the same in reality. Nothing looks the same as her thinking. He tells her that nothing happens special at this place. The nights are cool, and the days are hot. Which is harmful to the skin. Sea is a place where a man doesn't fall asleep and makes him always awake and hungry. If a person is left alone in the sea, he starts hallucinating. Which means, whatever does not happen is visible to him or her. Richard was saying this because he had experienced this. He had gone through this. He tells her that the most beautiful thing he has experienced is the sunset. Sunset is a scene worth seeing and looks very beautiful. He says that these feelings are unexplainable by humans. Then we see that they start loving each other and live together on the yacht for six months. Their days are passing as usual. Then we see old friends of Richard meeting him, whose names are Peter and his wife Christine. They had come all the way from California and even had a personal yacht which looks very beautiful. They had to leave that place in an emergency and request Richard to bring their yacht to California, in return he would be rewarded with good pay. Richard likes the deal and agrees with them. Obviously, he could see the profit and a lot of money after the completion of their assigned task. Richard and Tammy both see Peter's yacht and they like it a lot and accept the deal. They buy the necessary items and get ready to sail. They check in which island they have to stop. They begin their journey after thinking and deciding everything. Their journey was 4,000 miles which seemed to be very long. Many days were required to complete their journey. Richard makes a big decision of marrying Tammy. He proposes to her for marriage. Tammy loves him too and accepts his proposal. They seem to be very happy, but their fate takes a turn as they sense a storm in the sea. Then they notice a bird that came with a strong wind and just landed on their yacht. They really have no idea how come that bird had landed on their yacht as they could not see any shore nearby. Clearly, that bird must have managed to fly a great distance with the wind. They are then warned on the radio that a hurricane is approaching them. Richard then decides that he will move in the opposite direction of the storm. But Tammy says to Richard that they have to stop at this place and move ahead after the storm subsides. Richard was not happy with her decision but obviously. They had to make a decision. Because they had already wasted a lot of time. The hasty decision that they made has gone wrong. They realize their mistake when they see a huge storm approaching their yacht and that storm was bringing huge waves with it. It is very difficult to overcome and after looking at these situations, they get very upset. In last resort, they try to handle their yacht, but they can't do it. Seeing these circumstances, Richard asks Tammy to go down immediately as huge waves were approaching them. As Tammy goes down, a huge wave comes and carries Richard away. Tammy also falls there and faints. Their yacht gets completely destroyed. The next morning, when she wakes up, she sees water and a broken yacht around her. This incident makes her very much injured. She looks very badly injured. She was suffering from immense pain. Still, she manages to come out of the yacht. She looks for Richard around her. But she couldn't see Richard anywhere. She starts calling his name as she thinks that Richard might have fallen out of the yacht. She starts screaming by calling his name, 
but Richard doesn't come. She tries to convey her distress through the radio, but everything gets damaged due to the storm. Their yacht was totally destroyed and it was of no use and still they were stranded in the sea. The sail that helps the yacht to move forward was totally damaged. Without the sail, the yacht couldn't move forward. She feels very dejected as she lost Richard. She sees the lifeboat at a distance. Actually, that boat was placed on their yacht. She feels that Richard could be on that boat. That boat was far away from their yacht. If she goes leaving her yacht, she could lose it. Leaving the yacht alone wasn't a wise decision. She looks around and sees a huge curtain. It exactly looked like the sail that helps the yacht to move forward. She tries a lot to fix that. It was a very difficult task and a single person couldn't fix it. This work needs more people. But Tammy doesn't lose hope and she continuously tries. And at last, she succeeds to fix it. After it, she starts sailing the yacht towards the lifeboat. As her yacht reaches the lifeboat, she immediately ties herself with a rope and jumps into the water. Then she reaches the lifeboat and sees Richard there. He looked very injured and barely survived the storm. It was impossible for him to survive in this condition. Tammy comes back to the yacht with the help of the rope and brings Richard with her. She puts him on the yacht and sees a deep wound on his leg. But the most dangerous thing was the damage of his ribs. But, he still survived. This gives her the courage that she isn't alone and Richard is with her now. She becomes hopeful. She bandages the injured feet. Later, she thinks about how to escape from that place and pumps out all the water from the yacht. She fixes the broken parts of the yacht with a duct tape. She tries to read the map to get away from that place. Getting info from the map was difficult for her, but she still keeps reading. Meanwhile, she gets to know that they could reach Santiago in 20 days if their yacht moves smoothly. But the waves and the wind were very strong in that place, which could easily carry away their yacht even further. It was clear that they can't even reach in months instead of days. They could be trapped there for a lifetime. If no one comes for their help, getting out from there would be impossible for them. Because they couldn't see any island on the way to their destination. Tammy collects all the food present in the yacht as they have little supplies. Food could last for 14 or 15 days max. The biggest issue they were facing was the shortage of water. They had no drinking water as the water pipe broke due to the storm. They had very little water, on which they were surviving. These circumstances were testing their endurance, as they were present at a place where no one comes to that place. They feel that they will never be able to escape from that place. They could clearly see their death in front of them. Firstly, they were trapped at a point where their survival was impossible. And the second issue was the dwindling supplies of food. As Tammy was a vegetarian it was a big problem for them. Tammy gets worried and Richard explains to her our food won't get finished if you keep catching fish. Tammy clearly refuses to do so. But she tries to catch the fish and fails every time. Tammy regrets her mistake and apologizes to Richard. Richard wasn't able to do any work. Because he was badly injured and his bones had broken. Tammy becomes very happy when it starts raining. She cries with joy. She fills all utensils with rainwater. But this wasn't enough for their survival. They also needed things to eat. Their condition was getting worse day by day. Tammy sees a huge boat at a distance when they were lying. She shoots a flare gun to call them for help. But they go away without helping them. Because they think that there couldn't be anyone there. Their condition gets worse after being stranded for 20 days. Tammy falls prey to hallucinations, which we informed you at the start of the movie. Tammy was feeling strange changes to herself. She thinks that she's getting mad and she believes that she will never be able to get out of there and they could die there. They had some bottles of wine on which they were surviving and quenching their hunger. Tammy works hard and does a lot of struggle for Richard. We notice that 40 days have been passed staying in the yacht. Tammy started hallucinating. Because we've told you at the start that if someone stays in the sea for a long time, it happens to him or her. Everything seems betrayal and deception. Tammy was going through this condition as well. Richard had died when their yacht hit the storm. 
this was happening to her due to hallucinations. She was so shocked and depressed. She wasn't recovering from the trauma that she has lost Richard. Her hallucination was so powerful that she was still feeling Richard and it was all because of this. She was imagining Richard, but in reality, he was not present there. She kept on talking to herself, and she had the perception that Richard was nearby her. She cherished Richard, and to accept the death of Richard was extremely difficult for her. After 40 days, she finally believes that Richard is no longer alive. Now, she had stepped out of her imagination. Throughout the film, we see her feeling and visualizing Richard. But the reality was different. As she was lucky, she was given a chance to live once again. She sees a ship at some distance, which was coming towards her. She shoots the flare gun again and those people get to know that somebody is present at that place. After so many days in an impossible situation to survive, as we have told you before, she still survives. She was stranded there for almost 41 days. Staying in the sea for a long time can prove to be a bad experience. Her life gets saved. This is a true story that is based on reality. After this, she doesn't leave sailing and writes a book on her story. She tells that Richard played a great role in helping her in difficult times. His voice still rings in her ears. It is entirely due to Richard that she is alive today. With this scene, the movie ends. Thanks for watching.